Jim Quincy here again. This is part four of seven of what Forge is capable of, what you can do with Autodesk Forge. And today's video is about augmented and virtual reality. How to apply Forge to take design data, engineering data, CAD data of almost any format and use the Forge services to feed it into your AR or VR or depending on what you call it, mixed reality pipeline. Uh, before we get started, just if you're, if you're new to Forge, just recognize what customers are doing with Forge spans quite a variety of things. Forge being web service building blocks has a lot of different kinds of applications, data visualization, digital twins, AR and VR that we're talking about today integrating with various SaaS systems, you know, ERP, CRM, scheduling, finance, you name it. A catalogs, typical parts, um, configurators and design automation, which are somewhat related and, you know, we'll be doing a later um, video on. And photo 3D, turning photos into meshes and models. And again, today we're gonna focus on AR and VR. There are a number of AR and VR um, suppliers um, using Forge today as part of their publishing pipeline. And whether it's a commercial ISV, someone like Insight VR, um, as you can see here, or somebody like Visual Live, who's on the AR side of things, or Iris VR, or any number of um, Autodesk customers who are directly using uh, Forge as a way to feed CAD models in a very easy, predictable way um, and doing a bit of uh, model optimization along the way to feed that into their AR or VR pipeline. Frequently, AR or VR pipelines include some sort of metalware, uh, I should say middleware, um, whether that is Unity or Unreal or they're using um, AR Kit from Apple or AR Core um, from Google. These are all part of that. And with that, just let me just show you the type of integrations that can be done. And we'll start first here with an integration uh, done by Insight VR. Note we're here inside BIM 360. a location to start the VR experience. Going straight from a web page into a VR device app. Classic use case, it's design reviews, collaborative design reviews with a few or more than a few people, with people spread across the city, across the country, around the world. Speak stretch recognition to create issues in BIM 360 during the collaborative design review. I will say Oculus Quest, you know, the work uh, Facebook, Oculus did, Oculus Quest has really changed things because it's become, oops, sorry about that, because it's become possible for $400 to have a simple device that you can have on your desk with 10 minutes to learn how to use, virtually no setup. And it's similar to having a Skype or a Zoom meeting, only you can decide during a design review to, okay, we got a complex problem here. Uh, maybe it's a clash problem, maybe it's a coordination problem, and let's throw our headsets on for five, 10 minutes and, and you know, and w walk through it and decide what we're gonna do. Now, the other side of things, augmented reality. I will say augmented reality, it's still relatively early stages. 
Um, there's trickiness with uh, augmented reality having to do with things like lighting um, and things like, you know, building the, the, you know, coordinating the real world with kind of the virtual world, like the building information model. Uh, number of companies investing in this area, um, but, but it's definitely still a, a, an area for development. And again, in both these cases, how Forge gets used, it's getting that CAD data into whatever your AR or VR pipeline happens to be. Oh, I should take a step back. AR, I said it's tricky. It's tricky on the building side because AR is difficult at a large scale and it has to do with some basic limitations of the hardware and kind of the low level software. It does work quite well if we're talking small scale like uh, machinery where you're maybe doing servicing or installation, things of that sort. Uh, web service uh, APIs used. Um, here's the you know the six areas where Forge has services. Um, when it comes to this AR VR, some of the ex the example that Insight VR they're using the Forge Data Management API, uh, the Model Derivative API. Uh, they're not using the viewer, but you know Model Derivative in terms of a way to get that CAD data into their pipeline, and they've done integration um, with the BIM 360 API. And more recently, I think they've just finished up an integration with Plan Grid. Um, and again, Insight VR is not alone. Um, but I will say on the VR, on the collaborative design review side, um, pretty good stuff. Again, if you've seen one of these videos before, uh, you, you know, getting started. How do you get started? We have a step-by-step -step tutorial for working with Forge at learnforge.autodesk.io. It'll walk a full stack web developer through the basics from getting an API key, an account, um, uh, authorization, um, pushing models up, viewing, integrating with BIM 360, uh, doing automation with the design automation engines up on the cloud, um, and more. Probably take a good full stack web developer two days to get through the whole tutorial. Um, but after that, they will be able to pop up CAD models on a web page in, you know, it's, it's kind of an hour type, type of exercise. It is not hard to do for a web developer. Uh, if you're going to start um, an AR VR project um, and you want some advice um, or, you know, even if you, even if, if you, the fact is, if you're just getting started, you should ask for help. You should ask for someone who's seen several other people do it to talk through what you're trying to do, how you're thinking of going about it, what you're looking at for your technology stack, your technology pipeline. Um, drop us an email, forge.help at autodesk.com. And that could be a very specific question you have, but it could also be a request to have a conference call, to have a Zoom or a Skype call to talk through what you want to do and to get advice on how to go about it, where the pitfalls are, where the best code samples are. Um, you know, we're here to help you. Um, if you're a bit shy, and a lot of software developers are, you know, you should be quick to just do a Google search. Do you want to learn through a video like YouTube? Maybe how, likely how you're seeing this. You want to read a blog and you know hear hear from our experienced engineers. You want to see what the community is saying about the use of Forge in the application area you're thinking of. You know you can look in Stack Overflow um, or GitHub to see code samples. Most professional software developers I know like to see a few code samples before they touch a new technology because it gives them a feel for what they're going to be dealing with. And of course, there's a formal documentation, pricing details. Uh, more community kind of um, links that you can find at forge.autodesk.com. And that's it for our, I think our quick and shortest introduction of Forge around aimed at augmented and virtual reality or mixed reality, if you may. Thank you for your time.